Hi Libras, how are you? This is Mistress of Manifestations and welcome to your reading. This is going to be a gentle reading, so not all the messages are going to resonate with you. I'm going to use my Arcanum Tarot to start with Libras, but if these messages make sense to you, claim it. Okay, so let me put this back and start to shuffle your cards. Oh, look what is at the end of the deck, uh, on the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. Since I'm looking at that, let me look what is at the top. Ten of Swords and Ten of Cups. Okay, what? How are you, Libras? How's everyone doing? Uh, like I said, not all the messages here are going to make sense with you. If you find this message to be confusing for you, but it is applicable for somebody that you're asking about, claim it because then I am picking up on their energies. Now, I want you to check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Venus <clears throat> is very important for love, Libras. Um, and you are Venus rules. You do know that, right? All right. So I'm sure you know your sun. Your moon, please just look up, look it up in your, uh, what's that, Google birth chart calculator. Put in your details. Let Google calculate your chart. No, your chart is very important for you. It's like a document of sorts. <clears throat> it's like a document of sorts. Trust me, once you start to understand a little bit of astrology, you know, it's going to fascinate you to know where all the placements in your chart are. So, wow. You, oh, my God. Libras, Libras, Libras. Justice loving Libras. I'm going to start with these five cards that I have here. I think I'll start with this one first. Says it all, right? Sneakiness. Trying to cheat you. Play fast one. Fool you. You know, the reason I don't like this card, again, this card has every right to be in the deck as much as all the other cards, you know. It's earned its place. And this is something that so many of us go through in life. But the Seven of Swords is an energy of somebody who knows what they're doing. They're still going to do it. And they're doing it knowing that it's going to harm you. And it is such an underhand behavior. You know, it's like sitting in a boat with you, pretending to row while they're drilling a hole in it. So this is somebody who is, well, they're very intelligent. I'll give them that. This is air energy. This is air energy. But this is somebody who just is a, playing a game with you. This is somebody who is, I call them time wasters, you know, people who are deceptive, whose main strategy is to cheat you and fool you. So are you dealing with this individual? You have this in your energy around you, my darling Libras. You have this. Now, the next card I have for you is the Four of Pentacles. Pentacles are money. They always talk about, you know, what you earn, what you can touch and feel in the physical, you know, in the 3D world. That's always your money, your possessions, things that you've built. So it, what can I say, it consists of a big gamut of stuff now. This individual here is holding back. Are you holding back, Libras, from somebody? Because are you holding back from the sneak, from this person who's trying to cheat you? And you have a feeling that they're trying to cheat you and hence you're holding back. For me, this is not just about money. And I'll tell you why. This is not just about money. Yes, this individual is sitting with her, you know, all the money close to her chest. This is also a card of being a miser where you're not giving. You're just not giving. You're saying, no, 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 I'm not. The bank is closed or whatever. ATM is shut down for whatever. But this for me is also somebody holding back on their emotions. It's like your heart is closed and you're saying, you know what? Look, I'm not going to open my heart to you because you are a cheater. You are a snake. This individual, if, they, if you've been dealing with a seven of swords in an individual in this energy, highly intelligent, huh, by the way, very intelligent, but the sad thing is they use their intelligence to hurt people or to fool people or to cheat people. 
you're saying enough. I'm not giving. I am not giving. I am crossing my heart. I'm sitting on a chest of money. This is about money and I'm not going to give it. I'm holding back. This is a card of hoarding. You're either hoarding up on your emotions, Libra, or you're hoarding up on your money, literally on your money. And you're saying, I'm keeping all this to myself because I'm scared that I'm going to lose it. I'm also getting another message. Are you trying to hide money from someone? There's also a card of somebody trying to hide money away, you know, stash. So I'm getting all these messages from that now. The page of wands. Pages are the babies of the tarot. I call them the little babies. They are the young energies, not just in age. You know, they, the what can I say? Uh, it's like a mini bottle of, <laughs> of energy. And what are wands? They're your passions, right? They're what, what drives you. Look at the fire in this. Look at the fire in this. It's like, and he's drowning in that fire, you know, in that passion. But it's a small, small offering of that. This is not you know, a king. This is a page. So it's a, like I say, a mini version, a mini bottle. That's so cute, isn't it? So this is fresh energy, a pleasant surprise, a positive message. It's also divine timing for me, something coming in at the right time, you know. Um, this could also be a very smart and uh, what can I say, a talented child. You know, Libras, I'll give you one more message. I know this may not apply to everybody, but I'm, hey, I'm going to put it out there. Are you trying to be sneaky with money? Yeah? Libras, you're trying to be sneaky with some money. You're trying to keep some money away, huh? You know what? I'll hold on to that thought. Um, but like I said, this could be good news. Small, but good news. A positive message, fresh energy. This is about this for me. I don't know. I'm getting a strong message. This could be a child, a you know, and you have a child who is very talented, um, very smart, talented child. Now, the next card I have for you is you moving away, and the reason I feel this is a child. The stronger message is that this is a child with whom you're moving away is because as you can see, you're leaving conflict behind. So have you found out about this little rat? Not little, but somebody who has been trying to sabotage you, your money, your stability. Hence, you have been holding back, saving up, hoarding up on your money, on your resources, on your time, on your emotions and every freaking thing. There is a child, a very talented, very, very talented, smart little child that you have to, and you're moving away with them. You're moving to calmer waters. You're moving away from conflict. You're moving away from the sword energy. You're moving away from that seven of swords where you felt that you couldn't be stable, whether emotionally or financially, because somebody was taking you I mean, somebody was trying to cheat you. Somebody, and look, Libras, you are a sign that believes in equal give and take, correct? That's Libra. I mean, if you look at the glyph, uh, you look at the image on your, for your star sign, it, it is, you know, the, what's that? The scales of justice. So you are not somebody who's going to stand around and uh, take uh, somebody who's, you know, trying to be in this energy from you. And you've taken a good decision to say, you know what? I stop. Enough. I'm not giving nothing. And there is a child involved, and you are moving away from this conflict. I like that. Now, judgment is here too. Judgment is here too. Judgment is here too, Libras. Look at this card. This is, for me, this is always spirit coming in and giving judgment on something, on something that was hidden, 
they are correcting the balance. Now, I'm going to take another path to understand what exactly is going on with the Seven of Swords and what is it about? For me, this seems to be like a family situation or something to do with money. Because you know that miser card of you holding back, uh, refusing to open up, give your time or your emotions or even your money. Why? Oh, Libra. <laughs> okay. Wow, Libras. Okay. Give me another card. Okay. My goodness, Libras, your cards are just flying, huh? Okay, let me just tell you what I have. See, there's another page here. Now I have the page of cups. Look, are there two children involved, Libras? Page of one and the page, these are both young, like I tell you, many versions of the energies that they're, you know, embodying. This is a fire and passion, like a somebody very talented. This is another, you know, a page who's emotional, sweet. Look, he's drowning in his emotions. There are two children involved here. Libras, are you are you somebody who has two children as well? I mean, it, has this been a family situation where you caught somebody? Where you found that somebody was, you know, uh, being sneaky and you decided to just hold back and not give any more? This card is also a card of infatuations, you know, a small love offer. New emotional experiences, an apology, a crush, infatuation, an immature love, teenager-like romance, a surprise message. Your next, uh, uh, when I see a surprise message, you do have the Knight of Wands. This is a Sagittarius card for me. This is fire. You do have a lot of fire. You know what I'm getting? You have caught somebody trying to be sneaky with you, no doubt. Now, you have been holding back, whether on your love, on your emotions, on your money. I think there is a child. There is a child. I have a strong feeling that there is a child in this mix. You have decided to move away, Libras, to safety, to calmer waters, with that little baby of yours. And then in comes a quick message. Now, this is Sagittarius energy. This is, of course, a very fiery, passionate message. It's somebody who's rushing. Look at them. They're in gallop. I mean, they're, they're just impulsive message that is going to be coming in. Apology. Are they coming in with an apology? Uh, are they, you know, they're feeling bad that they've done something to you? Or are they feeling bad that they got caught? Look. I don't know. I do not know if, like I said, whether you should, you know, take them back or accept them. You have free will. Spirit, I mean, the universe has given us that as human beings, right? Sometimes I think that's the biggest mistake they made. But hey, we all have free will. Somebody is coming in with an apology, I feel. An apology. And it's going to be a surprise message because it could be very quick. Out of the blue. Like, a, like what? They're apologizing? What the hell? But look at your next cards. Okay, and I'll let you decide, Libras. Look. <sighs> Again, a lot of fire. You're dealing with a fire sign, yeah, Libras. You're dealing with a fire sign. So this is the five. This is disagreements. Conflict. You know, I'll continue. This is also necessary competition at a workplace. I understand where everybody wants to, you know, be better than the next and everybody's competing for it. I get that, but I'm not getting that in this reading. Hun. I'm getting the feeling that this is your mental conflict or this is unnecessary drama and conflict. This is somebody who's bitter and jealous. I feel that this person coming in with this apology is actually in this. There, it's it's not a what is that called a um, true apology? I'm I'm not getting the word. 
something that's not correct about them. Because if they were in this energy before, can they be trusted, Vibras? You think you can trust them, yeah? Because even though they're coming back saying sorry, and, you know, they're drowning in their emotions, you know, with a quick message, I think they're coming in because they see you leaving. You know, you've left, like you've left, checked out. Literally, I think you've moved away from this individual. I want to tell you about these two cards, okay? Yeah. This is asking, you know, this is, death is a Scorpio card, and we are in the season of Scorpio Libras. You could be dealing with a Scorpio too. This is a card of death, of anything, but it means a transformation. Now, I wonder if you have gone through a, what is that called? Meta, metaphorical death of a situation. Spirit has come in and given judgment. In fact, you've also found out new information. This is what I feel. <clears throat> new information has come to light. And I think you're allowing this death process to go organically where you're saying, you know what? Enough. No more. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to switch decks and see what else I can get to deliver. So far, it seems to me that you moving away from somebody, a seven of swords individual who has been trying to fool you, has made them come back with an apology. Uh, something tells me that this individual was very, very egoistic. Or they're not somebody who says sorry very easily. You're dealing with somebody like that, Libras. Oh, my Libras. That's my case. Okay, Libras. Hold on. Let me just match those cards now, one by one. Because I know how many of our decks I pull, you know, the messages will validate each other. So can you give me some more messages? For my liberals, please. My goodness, your cards are just cards. Hello. What's up with you? Your cards are just plain. For my liberals, please. Can you give me some more messages for liberals? Right. Libras, let me tell you something. The first card that came out is a drama queen. Somebody who's thirsty, causing chaos. Somebody who loves drama. Over, over, over. Melodrama. To every solution, they have a problem. It could be somebody who smokes a lot too. Are you dealing with somebody like this? Somebody who's causing chaos and drama in your life. And you found this out. I mean, you're sick of it. This is what I feel. And they know what they're doing. Look at this individual. I mean, they have their tiara and their crown and, you know, all that jazz. And they know what they're doing. And they know what they're doing is wrong. Yeah. You have definitely taken a decision to hold back. And to move away from this individual. Do you remember the Six of Swords energy that I showed you? You moved away. And this has made this individual ready to explode because I think they are very, very narcissistic. If you look at these two cards, you know, this individual, I mean, this is a match and she's smoking. Wow. This individual is so freaking angry. They're so angry with you for taking the decision to move away from them. The drama queen is here, my friends. And this card of them coming in with a little, you know, an apology that I told you, because I think you're left with your kids. Let's have an escapade, a vacation, a hideaway, an adventure. I think they're going to come in with this message for you, Libras, to try to tempt you. Try to tempt you. What are you going to do, Libras? What are you going to do? Now, when the drama queen comes out in the Seven of Swords, I don't think this individual can be trusted. But like I said, you need to understand what you're going through and what you know the other things are in play in your life. This card 
could be an action that you take because you are going to take some kind of an extreme drastic action in the situation. I think you have pretty much figured this person out. Something tells me that this individual, okay, has been doing this before. You've experienced this drama queen's drama before where they have created a lot of chaos in your life. And this time you just said, you know what? Enough. I cannot take this anymore. And because you actually took the step to move away, they're really angry. They're really angry. And they're coming back all sweet, you know, offering you this vacation and a hideaway and an escapade. And I'll tell you this card and, and this card for me here. I'll read it another way. This is your heart and your mind, you know. I told you this could be a card of somebody causing a lot of drama and conflicts. Or this could be, I always see this as a battle between the heart and the mind, Libras. Where you feel locked up in a mental prison. You don't know what to do. This individual is playing hella mind games with you, man. Hella mind games with you. But I think, I think spirit is asking you to let this fall away because they are going to transform this and they're going to give their judgment. They're not going to allow this individual to call the shots anymore. And I think they've been doing this for a long time. I'm going to take one more card, one more card from the Arcanum. I just want to know. I just want to know if you do take a decision to, you know, stick with what you've done as a move away. Whoa. Okay. This is a marriage for sure. I'll take one from this deck too. I'll take one from this deck. My Libras, please. My Libras. Libras, this is a marriage. Um, and let me start with this one before. Look, this card here, gossip, jealousy, envy. You've been dealing with somebody in this energy. And they have probably been talking a lot of shit about you to their friends, etc., and telling them how you let them down and you know how you were holding back because there's the card. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. This card. They've been telling people how you've been such a miser, holding back on your love. But they do not tell them. They do not tell people that they have been a snake. They do not tell people that they have been a drama queen in your life. No, 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 no. That part, they do not seem to tell people. See, they just tell people all the bad stuff about you. But they do not tell them that they have been in this energy with you. Spirit is coming in to call judgment on this individual. And I'm sure about that. Spirit is coming in. And they have had enough. They've been seeing this happening for a long time. And they're coming in and they're showing you stuff. Information that was hidden is going to be shown. You thought it was all over, but they're going to show you some more, you know, things that have happened behind your back. I need you to understand that you need to cleanse your space, please. If you've been living with this person for a long time. Please cleanse your space. And look what showed up. You're going towards this. You're going towards your stability. Libras. I think allowing this situation to have a natural death because this individual this individual has almost made you feel like you're in a mental prison. Spirit is coming in to call judgment. Allow the situation, if you can, organically to have its own, you know, demise because you're moving towards a commitment. Now, I don't know if there is another new person who's going to come in. We'll have to just wait and watch. Do not jump into new relationships just like that. Please let your body, your mind, and your heart heal. But it is available to you. I'm going to take some angel answer cards to tell you. But this, this energy, 
please don't forget to do your cleansing, please. You can use uh, Palo Santo, you can use sage, whatever you wish, okay? Now, I'm going to take some angel answer cards for you. You can ask your questions. You can pause the video if you like Libra. Libra. Libras. Ask your questions, Libras. Let me tell you what I got. The first answer is no. Whatever you asked, the answer is no. Second one is ask your angels. And I love this because meditation brings answers. If you feel that they have put you in mental prison, like I told you, you feel um, confined and locked down, you know, locked up, sorry. Ask your angels for help. They're available, please. And you're ready, Libras, you're ready. Whatever decision you take, spirit is here to support you. And remember the cleansing card. Meditation brings answers. Please cleanse your space. Get some alone time and sit with yourself, please. Now, I am going to take, should I take some Archangel Oracle cards for you? Let's see if any, uh, any of our powerful Archangels have any messages for your Libras. Here we go, for my Libras. One. My Libras, please. There we go. Okay, so. Gentleness. This is Archangel San Sandalphon. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Archangel Sandalphon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time and surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environment. I think this is directly referring to you moving away. From drama and conflict in your life. Please move away from this and especially from. Okay. The next card I have for you is patience. This is Archangel Zophiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. I feel that whatever the situation was that you're walking away from, because you are moving away from this, you thought you gave it your all, but you're holding back because the four of pentacles for me is somebody who stopped giving to this because they found something out. And spirit is telling you to be gentle with yourself. And you need more nurturing. You need more patience. God, I hate that word. I know it triggers me too, yeah. But please, please listen to them. You need more patience because you may not see what is growing yet because it's not yet showing in the 3D. But whatever efforts you've put in to anything that you have worked hard at, and I think this is about a relationship, they are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Your dreams, that is, now. The next I have for you again is nurture. Look, I think it's because you have a child. I think it's because you have a child. And look, these are angels taking care of a little child here, Libras. There is a child in the mix. Nurture, this is Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, look, you nurture your own inner child. Wow. Both these activities are important for you right now. They're asking you to nurture your inner child and the little baby that you have. You definitely are somebody who is a single parent. Um, and you're moving away from drama and you're taking back your control. Libras, this is awesome. And there is a child involved. The last card I have for you is relationship. 
harmony. Archangel Raguel, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Do you remember this card? I think spirit is coming in to call judgment. And they are going to do their best to resolve the conflict with this drama queen. But I feel that you are going to continue to stay away or take a decision to move away from this. Because I think this is um, this kind of an energy to even bring up a child, you know, in a family where there's a lot of fight and conflict. It's not fair on them. So, Libras, whatever decision you take, do not forget to meditate. Do not forget to cleanse your space. And remember, spirit has your back. Now, I hope that these messages made sense to you. Please give me a thumbs up if you've liked this video. Join my channel. Subscribe. Do not wait. Come back again and do another video for you. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you. And see you soon. Namaste, Libras. Bye.